I'm here with Dr. Stephen Stahl, MD, PhD, Adjunct Professor at the University of California, San Diego, and Honorary Visiting Senior Fellow at the University of Cambridge. Dr. Stahl is a renowned speaker and author on the subject of psychopharmacology and chairman of the Neuroscience Education Institute. It's been a year since you've been editing the CNS Spectrum's journal. How's it going? It's going very well. We have gone from almost a dry pipeline to a very full pipeline. We're now all online. We have actually rapid reviews and rapid publication acceptances now. Um, we had four issues in uh, 2012 with a small CME issue. We've gone to six issues for 2013 plus a full CME issue. And basically, part of what's happening in 2013 and 14 are thematic issues, which means several uh, maybe even the whole uh, issue, but several articles in an issue are on a specific theme. What are some of the features of the journal that are getting attention? Well, I can think of a few features that are getting a lot of attention. One is an article on dopamine and jealousy, pathological jealousy, like in Shakespearean's Othello jealousy. Um, it gets real close to explaining the neurocircuitry of stalking behaviors when you have pathological jealousy. So Dr. Donatella Maraziti from Pisa, Italy, wrote that with her colleagues, and that's gotten a lot of uh, uh, lay press as well as uh, scientific uh, credit, uh, basically, attention. Uh, I relaunched Brainstorms, which was a popular feature uh, in another journal for many years, and that's gotten a lot of attention. And basically, uh, what's become popular are our short, illustrated uh, reviews on a focused topic that is written in language that a practicing clinician can understand. What's coming up on the horizon for CNS Spectrums? We have uh, several issues that are thematic, or if you will, special issues coming up in 2013 and 14 for CNS Spectrums. We've gotten several submissions, for example, in PTSD. Another one on violence. There's two different issues on mood, mood disorders in general, another one that more emphasizes bipolar disorders. This idea of impulsivity and compulsivity, Dr. Eric Hollander is going to edit that. There's another issue on addiction. So this idea of impulsivity, compulsivity, uh, addiction, violence, they all kind of are wrapped up into new circuitry ideas of uh, frontal striatal circuits, etc. And so we hope to make that an emphasis of the CNS Spectrum's going forward. How's the collaboration between the Neuroscience Education Institute and Cambridge working out? We have a nice and robust and well-functioning collaboration going between NEI, the Neuroscience Education Institute, and both Cambridge as the university, particularly the Department of Psychiatry and the Department of Psychology, and the Cambridge University Press. The uh, press, of course, has the journal, CNS Spectrums, which is a new feature, which is open to NEI members because it is now the official journal of the Neuroscience Education Institute. Uh, in addition, the NEI Congress, which is growing like leaps and bounds, has now poster sessions and the abstracts are published in CNS Spectrums. So all in all, we've got lots of projects moving forward. It's a very exciting time. It's a great and rich collaboration.